If you think that you can point out other people's weaknesses is your strength, to see other people's weaknesses is your strength, it's not at all. It's your stupidity. Because, because you have no control of yourself or your own afflictions. And you, to get, you bring it to the point where you need to vent it out. Otherwise, you go crazy. Nothing to be proud of. You should be ashamed of yourself. And we're not talking about strength and weaknesses. I'm talking about simple decency. Stop bitching. Stop complaining. Someone else's fault always. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because you can have no control of yourself at all. That's very important. That you, to the point where you need to vent it out. What's the alternative? Is not let it bother you anymore. It's their fault. Who cares? You should be glad they beat up on you. I give you an analogy of in, 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 in the workplace. The bosses, the good bosses, look at them. Oh, look at the whiner and whiner and whiner and, and, and this complainer. These are the people who do not get promoted. They don't get good raises, let me tell you. They drag down everyone. You can't take it. The only thing, let me remind all of you professional, the only thing that makes you stand out in a real workplace nowadays is the ability to take it and not complain. All the people don't have the strength to do that. That's make, what makes you stand out. That's why they pull you up. Because you can take the heat. And not just the workplace, everywhere. Just because people are wrong. We have, instead of being afflicted with them, should embrace them. Look at how hateful she is. Look at how stupid she is. Look at how miserable she is. There's no point in beating up on her. No point in making it worse for her. She's suffering enough already. Don't punish her anymore. That's the behavior of a superior person. A superior person does not get afflicted. I don't blame others.